started to honor an actress named Jenny Hoffman, who I had the honor of working with quite a bit when I was a young actor here at ETC. And she played the fairy godmother in the very first ever holiday show at ETC. She was funny, she was smart, she was beautiful, both inside and out, and tremendously talented. She was extraordinary. And we lost her way too early. She was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. She only lived about six months after the diagnosis. So it was a terrible loss uh, to everybody who knew her and a terrible loss for ETC because she was one of its founding company members. So the founding artistic director, David White, had a remarkable idea, which was that in her honor, we would always have a fairy godmother performance or two, something to celebrate Jenny's memory in a lasting way. And so to be able to honor her every year uh, through this programming is very special. So that's what we do. We remember. I think that it has been such a blessing to have the ensemble provide us with the opportunities that they have. Children sometimes don't get the opportunities to go see plays. Having this opportunity has been such a great thing for our kids and they enjoy going to the plays. They talk about it when they come back. You can see their smiles, you can feel their energy. You can notice that they're sitting on the edges of their seats and who can't try and give their very best to that kind of audience and that kind of love that's coming at you. It gives them an opportunity to make them think that maybe this is something that they could achieve and that they can do. Just the reaction of the kids after the performances when they're coming out of the theater and coming into the lobby to meet with us, they have the biggest grins on their faces. They are uh, a very precious group of kids that are our neighbors. They walk past these doors every day. They see the people come in and out for our regular shows. And they recognize the theater as being a part of their community. What I love most about it is that it taps into other gifts that the kids have. They get to act out, they get to read, they get to be somebody different. The Fairy Godmother program grew to be a lot more than just a play for a day. It helped launch the educational program that now goes into the schools, and now it's grown to it's just under about 2,000 kids that will be served. I love being able to, to introduce these kids to this place and to this part of their community and this part of City. It's mind-blowing. It has just been, it's been really great. When I count to three and point to everybody, all together, we're going to say, hello, Jenny, as loudly as we can. And I bet she'll be able to hear us. Are you ready? 